On today's wrestling news, the WWE Draft. And a huge return <laughs> during said draft. Uh, AW Collision might have another big return. <laughs> and AEW have huge steel cage match. I've been knocked out of whack here. Are you ready? Are you ready for the news time? Yes, my name is Phil Chambers and I'm joined by Gareth Morgan and Salty Sea Dog to talk all things wrestling. But before we get into it, make sure you like the uh, video. Comment down below what you think of each of today's stories. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, links to each story is in the description. So click the timestamps and off you go. But first up, the WWE Draft was last night, obviously. And I'm just going to kind of run through uh, what happened and who got picked. It was pretty much the exact same layout as the last four years except the, like triple h came out and did the first round of draft rvd and michael hayes came out and did the second round of the draft jbl and teddy long did the third round and then Shawn michaels and road dog did the final round and it was very formulaic and not really very interesting but the draft picks themselves uh so we will go with round one with uh roman reigns solo sakura and paul Heyman to smackdown so nothing new there cody mm. rhodes off to raw Splitting up from uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, make of that what you will. Let us know down in the comments what you think of this as a decision. Uh, then Bianca Belair, the Raw Women's Champion, is off to SmackDown. Um, high pick for Bianca, though. Uh, and then Becky Lynch was the final pick for Raw. They didn't do the thing where like Raw gets an extra pick because it has an extra hour this time around. Um, and for some reason, they ended up with SmackDown having a bigger roster than Raw. So I assume we'll mm. figure that out on the next show. But anyway, uh, round two, the Street Profits went to SmackDown. Imperium moving on over to Raw. Edge is off to SmackDown. And Matt Riddle, getting RVD to announce Matt Riddle was a <laughs> hell of a move, uh, yeah. is going over to Raw. And then Bobby Lashley to SmackDown. Drew McIntyre to Raw. The OC, which we've got more on in a second, SmackDown. Uh, probably should have saved that as a surprise. Uh, the Miz <laughs> to Raw. Uh, damage Control to SmackDown, Shinsuke Nakamura to Raw, and then the first actual sort of big surprises, I guess, apart from maybe the OC, uh, the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, have been moved over to SmackDown, and the NXT Women's Champion, Indy Hartwell, has gone over to Raw, which leaves uh, Candice LeRae, Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green, Omos, Hit Row, Maximum Male Models, Dolph Ziggler, Dexter Loomis, Natalia, Mustafa Ali, Viking Raiders, and Lacey Evans, undrafted, mm. and they've announced that at some point today on WWE.com and on their socials, I guess they will announce where they have been drafted off to. But this is it. The draft is coming back. There's obviously big names still waiting to be drafted on Raw. Um, but what do you make of it? It's a... Uh, I don't know. There was a few there that you just knew that, that was going to happen with the Roman Reigns stuff with Sol Zakoa. I was like, yeah, that's pretty predictable. And then the Cody thing happened and it semi-fills you with dread because you don't trust them now as much as you did heading into WrestleMania because yeah. we've had our hearts broken a few times and I'm not really content letting it play out anymore so i was a bit yeah bit of dread there the bianca stuff's fun i think she's gonna be awesome on smackdown she was awesome i think she ended up on smackdown when she first came to the main roster if my memory serves me correctly mm -hmm. i don't want this whole just belt swappy stuff i don't like it if you just come yeah. to smackdown you're like oh i'm the smackdown champion no 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 because it just it messes with all the lineage stuff i d yeah, don't like all that but SmackDown's looking like a hell of a roster right now. Like Imperium over on Raw, that gives them a bit of a fresh thing as well. But for me, one of the most exciting picks is something I'm going to jump right into now because AJ Styles was back on SmackDown. It was the house that AJ Styles built and he walked into the house with the OC. It was a big old return. There were reports that he was in, I believe it was Corpus Christi. Is that right? Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah. And uh, that was confirmed. He came out and he was just about to cut a promo. Then the Viking Raiders popped up and I was like, oh, is this, is this where we go? going okay that's a, it's a choice it's a direction we've got like more, more tag team kind of uh, spotlight right now and that's really good we need some fresh teams to be taken on uh who won the uh, the main event which was kevin owens and sammy Zayn. they won they defended their undisputed wwe tag team championships against the usos roman reigns must have loved it and yeah it was it was interesting to see AJ back. It hit a phenomenal forearm. There was a point there where I was thinking, oh, okay, is he not fully, fully cleared? He sat back and like let everyone fight out. And I was thinking, okay, he might be a few weeks away. But no, he hit his, his phenomenal forearm. And I was like, oh, he's, he's, still, he's still awesome. He's still phenomenal. And I think that's a good call for like, the OC now. And then potentially he could have another match there with AJ Styles and Roman Reigns maybe at some point. That would be awesome. Remember those matches? I think it was, what, 2016 when he had Roman going against AJ? Was it 2016? Might have been 2015. My mind just blurs at that point. It was a weird old mm -hmm. time, but that's exciting too. So, yes, Phenomenal One is back. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like this, um, obviously been missing from TV for a while now. Uh, but uh, like, yeah, like you say, the, the opportunities there with the OC mm -hmm. going up against the Bloodline stuff and uh, it's yet to be seen what happens with the Judgment Day and where they end up. But if they end up on SmackDown as well and you somehow get OC, Judgment Day and the Bloodline all in the same show would be very interesting dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, into it. See what they do. Uh, the Good Brothers just work in the business to just get themselves in the like easiest positions they possibly can they are they are smashing the business side of professional wrestling right now um but moving over to aw for a bit collision the long rumored uh third tv show that aw are going to be bringing back supposedly on june uh june 17th uh, with the big return of CM Punk, obviously going to be tied into it as well. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer has been out with a little bit more information about what happens happening at the AW Collision and the fact that there is expected to be either another major name debut or return on that exact same show. So mm. set your guns to speculation or whatever you do uh, and let us know in the comments down below who you think this is going to be. Could it be a... Goldberg, maybe? Miro. Miro. Yeah, Miro. Sounds the same. Yeah, I'd like that. Both of them on the same night and just have them run into each other. Yeah, why not? I'd, Collision. I'd the hell out of that. There it is. And that's why it's called that. Ugh, it's going to be loads of meaty men. Right just yourself. <laughs> smashing into one another. And speaking of big old impressive men smashing into one another, that is what's going to happen on May 10th Dynamite because... I, I don't even like I'm, I'm just at a loss of words because we've got Kenny Omega and John Moxley locked inside of a steel cage just just like that just 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 it's like Christmas I love it it's great stuff these two have obviously just been the most bitter rivals that AEW maybe have ever seen really long old storied history they fought on dynamite like memorably winter is coming i think it was december 2020 when a uh, not aj bloody aj style still in my brain now i'm just there's so much information kenny omega came away with the aw world championship against john moxley he had that grudge against him it led to the revolution infamous exploding bad wire death match but now they are going to be fighting again because kenny omega took to the microphone after like this week's dynamite after they got brutalized and battered can i see can, can, i can never say his name konsuke Takeshita. I think that yeah. was it. He got screwdrivered in the face by the, uh, the the BCC. So that was a big old thing. And then Kenny took to the mic and said, you know what? Right, I'm sick of this. Me and you, let's get locked in a cage. Me and you, Moxley. Are you up for it? Let's do it. Tony, come on, book it. Then Moxley was backstage and he said, yep, I'm happy to be locked in a cage with you because I'm an animal and I'm going to break your heart and break your effing face, is what he said. So fight up, Moxley. is the best Moxley. I'm so excited. And then Tony took to Twitter yesterday and he said yeah we're gonna do it let's 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 kick off this rivalry once again and have these two clashing in a steel cage and hopefully well it does look like this is going to set the stage for a big old team war thing at double or nothing and i personally want anarchy in the arena too because i think with all these teams it's just made for it in it it's just going to be violence violence everywhere amateurs versus awful men so it's gonna be great <laughs> yeah love this uh every bit of this i think the cage match is going to be absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. yeah um, there's also yeah like an, an, i hadn't even thought about anarchy in the arena my brain was going to blood and guts matches like mm -hmm. the blow off thing but an anarchy at the arena would work too i'd be well up for that uh either way it's going to be a lot of fun hopefully like at some point we've got to bring uh hangman page back into this as well on the elite side of things um and yeah it's just gonna be they're just gonna kick the absolute crap out of each other and it's gonna be a really entertaining tv match and there's gonna be a lot of blood most likely and it's gonna be yeah. great can't wait. Look forward it's going to it. be some screw jobs. Yeah, there Love is. Love it. Love it. But that is today's wrestling news. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want to watch a WWE draft that isn't as disappointing um, mm. as the way that WWE present mm. it, watch our WWE fantasy draft that's on the channel right now. Uh, and you can follow us over on Twitter. You can follow me at Phil My Chambers and you can follow Gareth at gmorgan04 and you can follow all of us at what culture wwe like i say subscribe to the channel let me know down in the comments what you think of all of today's stories uh but most importantly have yourselves a bloody good day bye bye